Today we are going to see about Google Panda. The Google Panda algorithm is a search filter that was first introduced in February 2011 with the goal of improving the quality of search results by targeting low-quality or thin content in content farms. It was named after Navneet Panda Google engineer who helped create the algorithm. The Panda algorithm uses a machine learning approach to evaluate the quality of content on web pages. It analyzes a wide range of factors such as the amount of original and useful content on a page, the presence of duplicate content, the frequency of ads, and the overall user experience. Pages that are deemed to have low-quality content or a poor user experience are demoted in search rankings, while pages with high-quality content are promoted. The Panda algorithm operates on a site-wide basis, meaning that if a significant portion of a site's pages are deemed to have low-quality content, it can affect the rankings of the entire site. This means that even if a site has high-quality content on some pages, it can still be impacted by the Panda algorithm if it has a large amount of low-quality content. Google has released several updates to the Panda algorithm over the years, with the goal of improving its effectiveness and addressing any unintended consequences. These updates have also made the algorithm more granular, meaning that it can now target specific sections or types of content on a site rather than impacting the entire site. In summary, the Google Panda algorithm is a search filter that targets low-quality or thin content in content farms, with the goal of improving the quality of search results. It operates on a site-wide basis and uses a machine learning approach to evaluate the quality of content on web pages. Website owners and digital marketers can improve their rankings by focusing on creating high-quality and original content that provides value to users. The release of the Panda algorithm had a significant impact on the search engine optimization industry. Prior to the release of Panda, many websites were able to rank highly in search results by using tactics such as keyword stuffing and creating low-quality content farms. However, after the release of Panda, many of these sites saw their rankings drop significantly, leading to a shift towards creating high-quality, original content. One of the challenges with the Panda algorithm is that it can be difficult to determine exactly what constitutes low-quality content in the eyes of Google. However, some best practices for avoiding Panda penalties include avoiding duplicate content, reducing the number of ads on a page, improving the overall user experience, and creating original, high-quality content that provides value to users. It's also worth noting that while the Panda algorithm targets low-quality content, it's just one of many factors that Google uses to determine search rankings. Other factors such as links, site speed and mobile friendliness also play a role, and it's important to consider these factors as part of a broader SEO strategy. In summary, the Panda algorithm had a significant impact on the SEO industry by targeting low-quality or thin content and content farms. Website owners and digital marketers can avoid Panda penalties by focusing on creating high-quality and original content, reducing the number of ads on a page, and improving the overall user experience. However, it's important to consider the many other factors that Google uses to determine search rankings as part of a broader SEO strategy. In conclusion, the Google Panda algorithm was released in 2011 and targeted low-quality content on websites, including content farms and pages with a high ad-to-content ratio. The algorithm marked a shift towards prioritizing high-quality and original content in search results. Website owners and digital marketers can avoid Panda penalties by following best practices such as creating original and valuable content, improving the user experience, and reducing the number of ads on a page. However, it's important to remember that Panda is just one of many factors that Google uses to determine search rankings, and a comprehensive SEO strategy should consider all relevant factors.